What is up boys? Welcome back to another video. Sorry about it being so gloomy out. I'm going to work some color correction magic and make it a little bit more enjoyable to watch. Today, I will be comparing and contrasting a sealed subwoofer enclosure versus a ported subwoofer enclosure. Now last summer, as you guys may know, I did my entire audio system. I changed all of the speakers, I put in a five channel amplifier, and I actually put in an eight inch sub straight into the rear deck right here. I didn't like how it was sounding, there was literally no bass, mainly because the subwoofer wasn't in an enclosure. So what I did next was I actually bought an enclosure for the eight inch, it was a sealed box. Still not enough, so I went back to the electronics store apt electronic and i got a 12 inch kenwood reference subwoofer so anyway when i got the subwoofer i got a sealed box with it and i wasn't really sure if it was what i wanted so i also got a ported box he gave it to me for a really cheap price just because he knew that i wasn't sure what i wanted so behind me are the two boxes uh, like i said i already tried out the sealed box and it was good uh, and I'm now trying out the ported box. So today, I will be comparing and contrasting these two boxes, letting you guys know what the differences are and how they sound. I'm gonna start with the sealed box. Sealed boxes in general are usually tighter and more accurate bass. Um, it's hard to explain what that really means until you feel it and hear it. But to try to explain it as best as I can, um, this is very punchy current. The bass returns very quickly and it's just, it sounds a lot more professional. These boxes are generally a lot smaller. So if you look at the size of this box, that's it. There's literally, that's all there is to it. Really small, really compact and pretty solid. One downside to a sealed box is that they are actually less efficient because it takes more power for the amplifier to move the subwoofer. To explain this, um, I'm gonna have to go into a little bit of physics. I'm not gonna use any numbers or anything, but if you think about a sealed enclosure, the subwoofer has an airtight seal, airtight seal with the box. No air is going in and out, like in a ported box. When the magnet for the subwoofer pushes that cone outward, the air inside the box is then low pressure and it's as soon as it moves, it's already trying to pull the subwoofer back to its original position. So it does require more power to make that subwoofer really move in and out and move some air. The result, like I said, is a much more punchy sound. It's very quick. It sounds a lot more collected and accurate because of that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move this box out of the way and we're gonna take a look at the ported box. So in contrast with the sealed box, the ported box produces a much louder, more boomy, and in my opinion, whooshy sounding bass. It's kind of hard to explain. The best way for me to explain it is that you can feel it more and you can almost feel the individual movements of the subwoofers. I'll give you guys a sound test inside the car, but like I said, it's really hard to explain unless you've experienced the two. Fortunately, where I went to go get the setup, uh, they were super cool with helping me decide what I wanted. The salesman who was helping me actually came out to the car and brought several different subwoofers and setups out to my trunk, plugged them in, and we tested them out to see what I would like. Um, unfortunately, he didn't have a ported box with a sub in it, so I kind of, that's why I went back and got this one, I wanted to know. But if you guys are local and you know of Apt Electronics, check them out because their customer service is top notch. A lot of people like these ported boxes for rap music, things like that, EDM. I don't really know where I fall yet, like I said, I'm giving it about a week to decide, but one big con to this box setup is that it is a lot bigger, it takes up a ton more trunk space. Look at this goes all the way back to my hand. This this box for a single 12 is huge. And then the other advantage of a ported box is that it's a lot more efficient than a sealed box. As I was explaining earlier, the sealed box uses air pressure to keep the base really tight and punchy. This obviously lets air in and out, so you don't have that effect. It's basically just the amplifier moving the sub. It requires a lot less power to get loud bass. However, like I said, it still can be kind of whooshy. I feel like if I had a more powerful amplifier, it wouldn't sound the way it does. But let's go ahead and hop in the car and give it a sound test. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on a banger. I am gonna stick with rap just because I'm trying to really isolate the bass notes. Let's see what I can do. Oh, all right, this song by Young Thug kills it. This is about as loud as I would go. Wouldn't really go any louder on this head unit, but here we go. It is a lot of bass. Make love, baby, I don't wanna buy your love, I 
I'm on the Bentley Nigga, that one she not leave me And you know that I smoke on that Kush no for And I know it for my people so like I said, I'm still feeling out these two subwoofer enclosure setups. I've noticed that this subwoofer enclosure is kind of exhausting to listen to if you're listening to bass heavy music for a long time. I do like how loud it is. I like the hit that you feel. Like you really feel this, this enclosure, but I don't like that it's shaking my mirror to the point where I can hear the materials rattling. Like that is a no go for me. Uh, if I can figure out a way to fix the rattling in the car, with the interior pieces, I might stick with this. But the interior piece rattling is a big no-go for me. All right, boys, so if you were trying to decide between a ported or a sealed box, I hope this video helped you make a decision. If you guys wanna know more about my audio setup and actually like how to install a five channel amp in this car because it is kind of confusing, I would definitely be willing to make a video on like a rundown on how to install a five channel amp. This car already has a factory amplifier, so like I said, it does get kind of confusing. So let me know if you guys want to hear a rundown of how to install a five channel amp in a Civic Assai. As always, I'm Yanni Knowles. You guys are the best. Have a nice day.